They got the field kit. Keep firing. I'm going down to see what else they did. Look, it's come to. Hey, what's going on out there? A war. You don't say. Well, having nothing better to do, I've been glancing through my account book. And strangely enough, Mr. Marion, I discover that you still owe me five dollars. The rigors of battle, sir, have not made me overlook the fact. I shall repay you at the first opportunity. Well, I'll see that you do. How do you feel otherwise, Sherlock? Oh, brother, that malaria. It's murder. Can you imagine a little thing like a mosquito knocking that guy cold for three days? I don't feel nothing at the time. I remember when he let me have it, he was... You mean when she let you have it. Only the female Anopheles can be held responsible. No kidding. I wonder why. Well, in your case, I should say it was retributive justice. One female avenging the dozens you've treated shabbily from time to time. Only the female, huh? Yeah. However, next time a mosquito lands on you, I wouldn't advise your stopping to investigate its sex. Just what? <laughs> Just what? What are you trying to do? Give me pneumonia? Look at Mary! How do you feel? Hot and cold. Sometimes alternately, sometimes simultaneously. I was dreaming. I dreamt I was the young Alexander dying. I called for Roxana, and she came to me and said I was to come home. Come home, she said, it's not necessary to conquer the world. And besides, you've got malaria. And then she picked me up to carry me, and I could see it was not Roxana. It was Sergeant Ruby. Lincoln. Give me a piece of paper. I want to write a letter. Who would want to hear from you? Nobody. I want to write to me dear old Irish mother on Flatbush Avenue. Sure, it'll gladden the bitter old heart of her to hear from a wandering son. She never liked me. I was born to her old age. My arrival has been a calamity to her from the beginning. But I'll write to her anyhow. What's the date? Tate has an almanac that tells everything. Yeah, sure. <sighs> April, fourth month. Reset fence posts. Most strawberry beds. And this is the 24th. Maple sap stops running. <laughs> High tide at 8.5 in the morning, at 8.1 at night. Yesterday was St. George's Day. Tomorrow is St. Mark's. This is the eve of St. Mark. Weather, wind, women, and fortune change like the moon. So this is the eve of St. Mark. Hey, what is with that St. Mark there? It's an old legend. On St. Mark's Eve, if a maiden stands in the door of a church, she will see inside the church all those who are going to die that year. Yes, gentlemen, I, I'm afraid but Peter qualifies. Glad to see in a church, that's all. Church is any place a group of people worship God. 
sure during the past few weeks we've all said a prayer or two in here. Don't listen to him. He's making the whole thing up. No, he's not. It says the same thing right here. What else does it say? For quick results, I you... know a quicker way. Look up and see a half a dozen zeros diving down at you. Where do I say we are? Where you are is a military secret. Well, who are we keeping it from? Personally, I'd like to know. There's a nest of small rocky islands east of Taui. We're on one of them. I don't know which one, and I doubt very much if it makes much difference. Oh, I think I'll borrow a sheet of that paper. What's the use of writing letters? They never get anywhere. Why don't you shut up? Have you got any more of that stuff, Pepita? Well, no, no, no more. What's the matter? It's coming back. You're all waving around. Getting bigger. Go away, Pepita. Go away. We're all going to be seeing things in a couple of days. This island's rotten with the stuff. Sit down, will you? And talk more to yourself. <laughs> Program. At least it was something when we get Hollywood on the air. You mean nothing to do but write letters? Quiz. Quiz. Yes, Punch. It's got me again. Everything's looking very peculiar, including you. Get ready to hold him down, everybody. He's got about 106. He's got to take some more quinine. I'll find Ruby. 